All right, we're back. We're doing the first of the Ryuji and Stealth uh, missions. I've already encountered a problem. We're dropped down into the first room here. And this moron here, Sam Ko, will just walk out in front of guards and alert them to your presence. So uh, unfortunately, he's not going to be able to come with us because he's an idiot. We're going to uh, talk to him. We got to get to that vault and get I'm just going to tell him to stay right here. I tried to go down this hallway and he went around the other way and just walked right out in front of these these two guards right here. We can uh, run this program, this little drone program. This will distract the two guards letting us walk by. So we're going to have to go upstairs. Do a quick save. I do uh, pretty much a save every time I come up to a new floor, just so if I get caught, I just restart easily. There's a guard there. Let's see what's in here. There's a vent. We'll see where that goes. And I really have no idea where to go for these missions. I don't do these that often. Oh shit. be a miracle if they don't find me. Okay, so they lost me. So that's good. I don't know where that lady went. Robot scared the shit out of me. Save here. Oh, 
They saw me. Try the vent in this room. I have to, I'll just shoot my way out of this, but I'd like to try to do it as the, you know, the way it's intended. No paid time off. Without any. Oh, there's a safe over here. All right, five. Oh, God, I gotta open the damn door, too. footsteps. I'm going to try something here. Have him run over there and then we're just going to... Oh shit, did he see me? That's not good. So we'll just hang out here until the their uh, detection thing resets. All right. So it's kind of weird. Like they got to know somebody's creeping around in here, but they just seem to like you know the typical NPC AI is just like they forget I exist. Obviously, I gotta get to that vent over there. down here. why we save a lot. I wonder if I can just mind control this guy. 
and uh, have him like stand right there. Think we can get in that uh, vent right here. Can't see anything. So when are uh, when you have a manipulation running on them, they don't they won't detect you. Still under my control. All right, we'll do a quick save. How the hell am I supposed to get up there? Oh shit! Alert! Hostiles may be nearby. Oh, the robot saw me. right there. There's the robot. Man, I don't know how the hell I'm supposed to get up there. I can't believe that worked. <laughs> Did they just walk away? What about the morons? I can't tell if they're detecting me when I'm in the scanner mode. He saw me. Oh, come on. So we'll come up here and just try to wait him out. Come on. I need that operator suit that reduces your uh, detectability by another 25%. I mean, he didn't give it to me, did he? No. Once the white bars come together, they'll forget about me.
don't think you can go in there. No. What about this one? drop down into the main area so there's not really a lot of places to hide you saw me okay surely they don't want me to just walk up the stairs is there another way around no There's a guard right there. Let's see if I can uh, manipulate him. Just have him stand around. Okay, so we got into her computer. unfortunate. Just got to back out and start again. Right. You telling me this whole time I was in the wrong thing, whatever. Okay, so we got the file. I've already looted all the stuff in our safe. Is there an event in here or something? Yes. I was going to say.
and we're out. So I gotta go back and meet Nick's. And I have dislocated the limb. This guy lives. So you made it. Guess where you <laughs> just brimming with confidence, aren't you? But I've seen your work in the trade tower, so I'll at least give you some credit. Now. I'll take that program back that I gave you, and let's give the data a look. This guy doesn't have anything worth stealing. The program I gave you to run on Ularu's computer basically opens an all-access back door for me. I can see everything and anything, so let's take a look. Ularu has some impressive encryption on her files. Not that I can't crack it, of course. Circumventing protections, running decryption... This should just take a moment now. Damn, I'm good. That went faster than I thought. I'm saving several files to a slate for Dalton, including access history and anything related to Project Dominion. Adding in new encryption for him as well, so he's the only one that can view these. And done. You're all set. I've got the new encrypted slate. Let me tell you, it looks like fun times ahead for Ryujin. Technically, I'm not supposed to look, but it's kind of hard to not see what's going on while running all my software. You do that. Here's the slate. As usual, always a pleasure doing business with Ryujin. I don't know why I keep saying I'm in... I'm trespassing. Maybe because I left uh, numbnuts up there. We'll go talk to the security chief guy again, tell him what we found, or that we got the program on our computer. Well, I assume success is in order. I had a few reports, but at least nothing that set off any red flags. I expected as much. Now, let's see... Was possible. But someone's been accessing Ularu's files remotely. It's quite a complicated trace, too. I'm impressed Nix was able to track all of this. Damn. And there's our culprit. Imogene Salzo, senior operations specialist, and one of the few I had in mind for who could pull this off.
And the motive could be anything. Credits, grudges, even boredom. Well, she has the means and access. But things are rarely so cut and dry. Well, before we make any harsh decisions, I'll need to question her myself. I want you to head to her office and escort her here. You have to make sure she doesn't try anything before I have a chance to speak with her. Good. When you're dealing with court. All right, so he thinks that Imogene is the traitor. So we gotta go up to her office and uh, escort her down to the security office. However, when we get up there, we'll find that she's already uh, one step ahead of us and has left. Let me guess, looking for Imogene? I'm sure you can tell by now, she isn't here. Which is a shame, since I have several documents I need her to sign off on. She's always been the master of avoiding desk work. She hasn't stepped into the office since the maintenance closure. Probably abusing her paid time off again. I know for a fact she doesn't have any external meetings or business trips. I'm not even sure that's any business of yours, but I... Yeah, no thanks. Getting information out of Dalton is like talking to a wall. Besides, speculation is far more fun. I have Imogene's last location at Frankie's Grab and Go, which we all know is a front for the Sioka Syndicate. You'll want to get executive sign-off if you plan on chasing after her. I'd say Dalton is your best bet. Good. I'd hate to see what sort of drama might get stirred up if you went around him. Or maybe I'd love it. Keep the workplace interesting, right? <laughs> Good luck finding Imogene. Oh, and if you do catch up with her, be sure to let her know I had everything to do with it. You gotta love corporate politics. Alright, so uh, Imogene is bolted. She's left. And now we gotta go back to Dalton. Give him the bad news. I think it gives you the option to just go immediately after her. Yeah. But because it's the syndicate, which is kind of like the Yakuza out here, we want to talk to him and he'll tell us that we got to go through uh, Administrator Bayou since it's that's, they're his people. No Imogene, I see. Could she really be on to us already? Great. I can only assume she'll be well prepared when you find her. If Imogene's with the Syndicate, I can't just send you after her. You'll need to speak with Benjamin Bayou. We have to make sure he's aware of the situation. If we're lucky, he may even help us get to Imogene. Good, because without it, this adds a complexity that we do not have time for. Head over to the Trade Tower, and be discreet. Let Bayou know that you're there on Ryujin's behalf. He may ask for credits, or even a favor. Just give him what he wants. <sighs> you're right. Just be sure to bring her back here in one piece. If she's truly the Mole, she'll have a lot to answer to. If she resists or tries to run, we have no choice but to take it as an admission of guilt. I'm afraid you'll have to dispose of her. Imogene has the potential to do this company a great deal of harm with her knowledge. She knows the consequences of betraying Ryujin, which makes her dangerous. If the situation does take a turn for the worse, I only ask that you perform a thorough search for any evidence she may have in her possession. I trust you won't let your past relationship cloud your judgment. All right, so now we got to go talk to Bayou. I 
be right back. I'll pause the game for just a second. Alright, I'm back. I uh, did a quick restart of the game to see if I could fix that trespassing bug. And I uh, recovered Sam Co. He was up in the tranquility floor, just chilling out. So now we're going to go get Imogene over at the syndicate. Oh, yeah, or first we're going to go talk to uh, Bayou. You could go just straight up there and kill all the syndicate guys, but it's a problem because those are Bayou's people, and uh, you don't want to do anything in, uh, in his city without getting his permission first. As usual, he's hanging out up in his uh, little suite up in the Astral Lounge. Well, there's no way in hell I'm letting Cora land here. What's up? So it does look like restarting fixed that trespassing bug, which is good. I've seen it before. I don't really know what causes it, but whatever. I don't recall sending for anyone. What do you want? No. We can always make time when it comes to an old friend. So, what would be the reason? I may consider Ryujin an ally, but Dalton especially knows I don't give anything blindly. As long as it doesn't involve the Syndicate members themselves, I'll tell you what. I'll make sure the Syndicate lets you in hassle-free. Provided you do a little something for me. And what mutual be I think we can work something out. All right. You talk a good game. And I suppose if we're looking at a mutually beneficial situation, there's no reason for me not to allow such a small favor. Check in with Ms. Moore at Frankie's. I'll send word along that you're to be expected, so she shouldn't give you any trouble. Fair warning, the Syndicate should let you search any common areas, but if anyone catches you snooping around private quarters, I'll just say, be prepared for some hostilities. So that's his warning, saying that we can go in there, get what we got, or get what we need to get, and then... Uh, leave because if you start, I think it's like the third level or whatever. Where the hell am I going? Uh, if you go up to the like, I think it's the third level, they'll go ahead and attack you on site. People joke, say those Varun zealots worship a snake. So we got to go to Frank's Frankie's grab and go. I think is where the syndicate headquarters is. So this is a little Frankie's grab and go. It's a little uh, shop. What'll it be? Hope you're a paying customer. Take well, a look. Gonna pick up some digi picks while I'm here. And then I'm here on Ryujin's oh, behalf. The one getting special treatment. Huh. I knew you was some sort of trouble. I've got one rule for you in there, so it shouldn't be hard to remember. Third floor is off limits. They catch you snooping around, and it's open season. That's what I'd like to hear. For the record, I'm only granting you access because I have to. You'll find that young lady you're looking for holed up in a room almost straight ahead. Just remember to keep your eyes on the prize. The less you consider this an open house, the better. So we go back here, there's like a 
refrigerator hidden door thing. Personally, I think neon's the heart of the And these guys look like they're hostile, but they're not. And you can walk right past them. I'm sure there's a lot of stuff in here that you could probably steal, but I don't really... What is my uh, credits right now? I'm at 1.5 million, so I'm not hurting for money. You know there are those who wish to bring us down through subterfuge, so just how do you propose we deal with that? Oh, you don't think we can handle it? Do you really want to bring that kind of heat to our organization? Fine, what if we just bring it up the chain and let someone else figure it out then? Ah, why are you like this? So I guess, uh, you uh, roughed up some kids. I figured our paths would cross sooner or later. Hello. Not that I thought I was safe, but I never expected anyone to just slip by all the syndicate here. I had a feeling you'd be the one to come after me. I know this doesn't look good, but I had no choice. Ularu set me up. Yes, I've been acting as a double agent, but because she ordered me to, the assignment was meant to deceive, not benefit. And Project Dominion is way above my pay grade. It'd be impossible for me to deliver it. At least, intentionally. You're trusting me on this one. Huh. Not to cast doubt on myself, but... So as we know, she's not actually guilty. Laura Chen has set this uh, lady up to take the fall. Sometimes I think corporations harbor the worst people out there. But then, I come across people like you. And I'm reminded that ideas of fairness actually exist. This slate holds the evidence to prove my innocence. I just need you to make sure Dalton sees it. I was hoping you would. I'm still going to lay low until I hear the coast is clear. As long as Ularu still thinks I'm on the run, she'll remain confident that her plan is working. And I know you don't hear it much around the office, but thanks. Can't hurt to have a few extra credits. You are serious. It's pretty handy with those locks. Mm. I'm still pissed at you, by the way, for uh, ruining my last stealth quest mission. I can see that giant ass chest there when I walked in. What the book is this? Nothing. I've gone up to the third floor and uh, looted everything in here before, and uh, I don't remember finding anything like super useful. I mean, it's fun to do, but uh, I'm not going to mess around with it right now just for uh, time's sake. Weird to see all these people just walking out of the storage room here in this place. Websites changed. Sleep crates for rent.
Well, look who's back. This is our office gossiper. So tell me, what did you find out? <sighs> I had a feeling you'd say that. Enjoy your time with Dalton. It'll all trickle back to me sooner or later. I think there's one of this person at uh, everybody's job. I think, let me check. We can go confront her or we can go back to Dalton. We're going to go to Dalton first. I hate waiting. Play the long game. I got my eye on you. You're back. So you did find her, and yet failed to bring her in. I'm looking forward to this explanation. You fingered the wrong corporate heel. Ulaura is the one you should be going after. If I'm not mistaken, you appear to be on her side. Not that I blame you, but if Imogen really wants to prove her innocence, she better be prepared to face a strict interrogation. Now, I need to undertake the laborious task of writing up a report to summarize all of this. In the meantime, Masako has requested your presence in R&D. She wants you to meet her in Vina Carlet's office. Once I've examined this evidence, I may need your help in moving forward. And not a word about this to anyone. I'll present what I have to the board once I've completed a full report. Alright, so we'll go down here and talk to. I think said her name was Vina. Don't wander into any restricted areas. I need that Wapasite. Good, you're here. It's time to put a plan in motion to take full control of this situation with Infinity LTD. In due time, we don't know to what extent Infinity has taken the current NeuroAmp schematics, so our top priority is completing our own. Let me introduce you to Vina Kalra, head of research and development. She'll give you the initial details. Yes, details. You see, the internal NeuroAmp is supposed to consist of two parts. The first part, the part Infinity stole, handles the manipulative effects. The second part is a shielding modification designed to protect the user against other NeuroAmp users. Oh yeah, marketing and finance wouldn't have it any other way. No one wants their greatest asset used against them. Once Vina can complete the internal NeuroAmp and shielding mod, the plan is to outfit you with both and have you infiltrate Infinity LTD. We can't risk the assignment until we know your mind has the necessary protection. It's your gray matter. But I don't know if you want to be on the literal cutting edge of science. Good. I'm glad you see this as an opportunity. And I love a willing subject. Now it's just a matter of getting the key ingredient. The final kink in both designs was finding compatible materials to use for conductivity that the human body wouldn't reject. I finally created the perfect alloy, but it requires a newly discovered refined element called rothesite. Which is where I come in. We have a confidential contract with Consolidated Mining to gather, refine, and ship the rothesite straight to us. Their last shipment is late, and neither we nor Consolidated Mining have had any communication with the Karenay station. Correct. The updates have been regular up until now. Last we heard, the shipment was ahead of schedule. We need you to head out there, secure the shipment, and bring it back here so Vina can complete her prototype. And I want to know what happened. We need to take any safety measures to make sure this doesn't happen again. Precisely why we're sending you. The mining station is CM Station RC-1. It's on a moon called Karen A-3A in the Karen A system. The shipment should be in the research and control tower. But the outside doors are kept locked down. This key card will let you enter the mines so you can access the tower from the inside. Good luck. Alright, so we've got our uh, mission. we got to go find out what happened to this Roth site. Uh, Welcome to R &D. Mineral that they've lost. Please refrain from engaging in any criminal activity. Let's 
see. Yeah, so we gotta travel to this planet. You doing alright, Gumdrop? We're home. Oh. I don't know if this is something I'm gonna have to shoot my way into or just walk in or what. So this is definitely going to be a hostile uh, mission where I'm going to fight these ecliptic mercenaries. Alright, did I miss the door? I just travel alone. I can't stand to have companions with me, but I need the uh, affinity. Shot him again. Where's this guy at? Eh, whatever. All right. Some sentient AI adapters if we need them, but I don't really care about that. 
That's a contraband thing, isn't it? Yeah, I don't really want to get into that either. I think that guy's alive. Sure, just keep grabbing everything. What could go wrong? Somebody's got to pay the bills, Sam. I don't see you chipping in any money. Time to tango. Almost got killed there. Level 189. Something's close. Found you. God damn, don't shoot me, Sam. I think that was the last guy. That thing is massive. I assume it's big. This has got to be big even for a miner, right? Oh, damn, that is a big tunnel. I'm not going to pick up all these spacesuits. Read the contract. All right, inventory. It's not 
on it. Notes. Oh, it, it's, I see what it's trying to do. It's trying to put it back on a uh, dead body. Inventory. So we, we gotta go to the clinic. Yeah. Sniper. Hmm. Turn a quick way out of here. Yeah, yes. Alright, so we got the uh, next clue. They want us to go to the clinic, which is a space station. I think it's in the Narian system? I don't know, we'll see here in a minute. Yeah, Narian. Uh, before I do that, I'm going to sell all this crap off that I have because I'm over encumbered. And uh, I'm going to pause the game while I do that because nobody wants to watch me selling all this stuff. I'll be back in just a second. Alright, I'm back. Got all my stuff sold in my inventory. I'm up to 1.6 million credits now. Mass is down 42, which is good. It takes forever to sell everything when you're uh, really overloaded. Yeah, I gotta go to like three planets to sell everything. I believe we gotta interrogate two of the doctors out here. That are uh, involved in the Docking Project Dominion. Complete. This is where I belong. This area's off limits. Off. An outbreak. Uh. <laughs> that was easy. Hey, who let you in here? This is a restricted area. Fine. I'll tell you. We're on a private contract with Infinity LTD. It's for something they call Project Dominion. Dr. Lane and I were instructed to conduct human trials on several... volunteers. So far, only one patient has survived. You're telling me. When Infinity hired us, they said human trial authorization was already underway and we'd have the approvals in a matter of days. The days went by and nothing. Every time we'd ask, it was always just days away, but we kept working. Between the money and potential success, it was easy to tell ourselves that they'd come through. Sean, what the hell is going on here? Who is this? Sean's just telling a story to some complete stranger. This is a research facility where research is being done. We just need more time and experimentation. Sean spoke the truth. We thought the approval would arrive any day, so we continued with the project. By the time we started to catch on, it was already too late. We were too immersed in the lie. Dear Lord, you ever stop and think to pull the plug on it, approvals or not? This, this was flat out murder. You, you really think that's possible? Oh, it's good to know you see it that way. The public would not be as kind. Neither would our peers. 
Go ahead and do whatever you need to do. You can have full access to my computer. And thanks. As much as I was ready to commit career suicide, the very thought terrified me. I think since we uh, are letting these guys I off the hook, put my pride before the lives of we run into one of them. I can't remember which one it was. Back in Ryujin, like they get hired. That's pretty interesting. Hope that outbreak is still contained. Nope, you're gonna die. You have a nice day now. I want to see something. Last time I was here, there was a dead body over here in the VIP area. What are you doing? Uh, never a dull moment. This is not the VIP area. Company, I think. Well, the body's gone. Oh, Today shit. Why are you going to shoot at me? Well, they got rid of the uh, body, but the blood was still there, so I don't know. It's just kind of weird. Who the hell are you? Oh, I'll tell her. Thought I had a stranger on board. Alright, we'll go back to Vina at the Regent Tower. I am in combat still. That is unfortunate. Alright, we'll just launch. Undocking complete, Captain. That's your stuff, Doctor. Is that my beautiful shipment? You were right about this one, Masako. Looks like it. This should be more than enough. Now, I shall excuse myself and get to work on finalizing this prototype. So, what did you learn about CM Station RC-1? Hm. Lucas must be desperate if he hired them to collect the Rothosite. Were there any survivors? Good. I may not condone murder, but I refuse to have sympathy for indiscriminate killers like Ecliptic. Especially after massacring innocents working for us. Now, I also had a report that you were spotted at the clinic. I take it you traced the shipment there? I figured it was related. And were you able to determine the purpose of this secure wing? So, it sounds like Lucas has reached a new level of desperation to ensure his future as CEO. Typical megacorp bullshit. Focusing on CYA and the bottom line, not even blinking at the people that die along the way. I'll make sure Yuko's team extracts every bit of information they can from the clinic's database on this. We'll determine the truth for ourselves once Yuko has extracted the information. But if you're right, I see no issues in allowing them to remain anonymous. Between hiring ecliptic and unauthorized human trials, we have enough to take Lucas down for good. And with the Rothesite secure, 
It's almost time for us to make our move. All right, let's Head get this the show on the road. And speak to Dalton. He has an update for you on the mole's identity. Yeah, I know it's I've you. I've called a meeting, and I expect you to attend. It's time to put the final plan in motion. right on time. I re-evaluated all the evidence. It took every resource I had, but the final answer is clear. Ularu is the mole. I told you Imogene was innocent. It just didn't add up. In due time. I'll be reaching out, but right now we need her to remain in hiding. Yes. You made the right call. I've briefed Masako and discussed her plans on handling this. While we both agree Ularu is guilty, we need irrefutable evidence before presenting this to the board. For now, we lead everyone to believe that Imogene was the mole, and the situation was dealt with. I see the sense in it, but hasn't Imogene suffered enough? <laughs> Apparently not. Good. Keeping Ularu so we're gonna is the key to keep going down. on the uh, has idea that Ularu with Imogene is the traitor, just so Ularu doesn't get suspicious. LCD. We believe she'll take the chance to incriminate Masako within the program, so this could provide the evidence we're looking for. You will be tasked with the assignment to infiltrate Infinity, so before you go, I want you to bring that program to me. Good. Once Ularu believes she's properly deflected any suspicion, I have no doubt she'll be bold enough to hide something within whatever program she writes. Now, let's attend a meeting. We called you all together to discuss a recent security breach. We discovered a mole within the company who leaked vital information about Project Dominion to Infinity LTD. You've got to be kidding me. Just don't tell me it's Vina. I think we've all noticed she's not here. Before you speculate any further, no, it's not Vina. The guilty party is Imogene Salzo, much to my disappointment. Our operative here obtained the evidence to confirm it. Okay. Dalton, how does something like this happen? Imogene is highly trained. Ularu can even speak to that. We demand the best. So that's the threat we deal with. I may have well-trained operatives, but security is your responsibility, Dalton. This is a huge failing on your part. I accept the responsibility, but let's not forget, the mole has already been exposed and dealt with. Well, of course, thanks to another of my operatives. Watch me. Imogene's been dealt with, so bickering is pointless. All I care about is reacquiring our property and what this might be costing us financially. Vina is completing the internal NeuroAmp prototype as we speak. Our operative will receive the implant, infiltrate Infinity. It's weird when she says that because we obviously already have the ability because you carry it over from NG Plus to, to the next NG Plus. That's another thing. If you're ever uh, leveling up through the game, 
don't put any points in manipulation because every time you do an NG plus, when you do this quest, it puts a point into manipulation, even if you don't have a point available. It just auto it just gives it to you automatically. So if you had two points in it before, when you complete this next quest, it'll just go up to three and the next time you do an NG plus it'll go up to four. So that's how I got all my points into manipulation. I never actually put any skill points into it. I can't imagine the mess and, uh, that it's still maxed out. has on their hands. If I may make a suggestion, we should give this evidence to David at SSNN. It's the best neutral method of releasing this information to the general public. That'd make my job easier. David it is, then. Sucko, the internal neural lamp is ready if you want to send out the candidate. I hope you're ready for this. Vina will be waiting for you in the Neuroamp division in R&D. Once you're done, meet me in my office. Be ready to discuss the details of your next assignment. So we're going to go down into the uh, R&D lab, get the Neuroamp installed, and go from there. Basically, the neural app is like uh, mind control technology, limited mind control. You can't make them do anything, but uh, it's definitely helpful in certain situations. Are you sure you're okay? You look pretty fine. They really try hard to not look evil. Hey, I'm a tree. We totally can't be doing evil here. You're not fooling ah, anyone. Here's pal. my lucky candidate. I hope you're ready to embark on one amazing journey. Yes. Always love a willing subject. Now, just a few details before we begin. Obviously, we'll be putting you under. I'll be making a small incision in the back of your skull where the internal neuroamp will be fitted. The whole procedure should only take three to four hours with little to no downtime afterwards, provided DeMarcus got everything entered correctly. Did I not just say I quadruple check the numbers? You know I'm just giving you a hard time. Besides, I've got to make sure my patient is reassured. Of course. We've got, what, five PhDs between the two of us? Six, but who's counting? All I'm saying is that you're in good hands. Now, just lie down on the table once you're ready, and we should be good to go. My corporations don't control people enough as is. All right, let's get this party started. I can use some of the stuff in real life to get some sleep. Well, well, look who's finally up. The operation was a success, obviously. Once you're able to refocus, let me know how you're doing. So, how are you feeling? You look good? Feel fine. That's exactly what we want. Just a couple quick notes before using the internal neuroamp. First, you can only influence one person at a time. And second, the effect is temporary. So be prepared if you use it in a combat situation. Great. Now let's test this sucker out. DeMarcus has graciously volunteered for science, he says. That's the spirit. DeMarcus loves being hands-on and experiencing things on his own. It's probably why he's the second most published scientist here, after me. Just head up the stairs nearby to the observation deck. Alright, let's go test this thing out on the other scientist. Where the hell am I going? Our floor's off limits to most people. Really? Kind of nice to have, I guess. Okay, I already know how to use it. So he's down there. Now we got to basically get him to open up the door to come out. So I'll open up the scanner. The social is E. We'll activate it. Now I have the little uh, marionette symbol. I give him to pick up the key card that's laying on the table back here. 
And this is where I always have a hard time. Like, I don't understand how I get them to... Oh, I just activated it again. Okay. You're going to use the key card on the door panel. Bro, you can open the door or what? He picked up the thing, yeah. Get it, Neat whatever. But the implications? We should burn the whole place to the ground. Do I need to bring him out here? Oh my god, that was incredible. What was it like? Wow. How to describe it? One minute I was excited about seeing how the experiment would go. The next I had a brief the only time I ever use this ability is when I'm stealthing, just so I can walk past thought. them. It felt eerily natural. Can you just yawn? I admit it, just as you predicted. I knew it, I knew it, I knew it! I can hardly wait to finish writing up my latest dissertation. <laughs> and you owe me a hundred creds. Are you sick? I'll be keeping myself under constant surveillance now. I'm curious if any other side effects may manifest. So, tell me all about it. How did it feel? Any side effects? Nope. Yes. Good. Hear that, Demarcus? That's two for two now. I heard. I heard. It really was fascinating how all I experienced was a moment of disorientation. It's truly remarkable tech. When it comes to your job, you bet it does. Uh, besides, the neural amp isn't total control. If a subject's morals or beliefs in something are strong enough, we still see points of failure. That being said, it's been interesting to discover the actions our subjects sanction in their own minds. Okay, okay. As much as I'd love to go over the details and potential of this amazing piece of technology I created, Masako wants to see you. It sounds like you have an assignment to complete, and Demarcus and I have a lot of notes to record. Alright, so we'll go upstairs. We'll call that a successful test. You can get people to open safes, I think, too, which is pretty interesting. I've got my eye Good. on you. You're here. I wasn't sure how accurate Vina's promise of no downtime was going to be. Let's just hope her promise of no brain damage holds true as well. Now that you've been outfitted with the internal neural amp, it's time to put that tech to work. We're sending you into Infinity LTD. Lucas Drexler is about to learn exactly why you don't steal from Ryugen Industries. And wish he shall, every day, while he rots away in prison. All right, Yuko has provided a layout of Infinity LTD. You have two options for this assignment. We'll be providing you with the means for both. Option A, you gain entry through their maintenance access on the roof. Option B, we give you an assigned identity and arrange a meeting for you. I try the uh, option B. Just hope those acting skills don't get you caught or killed. Fair warning, wow. I don't think Depending I've ever completed this mission com successfully, fully stealthed. I end up having to shoot my way out. 
From there, you have three targets. First, you have Lucas Drexler's computer, located in his office on the executive floor. Second is Faye Sengsavan's computer, in research and development. And third, you need to obtain the prototype they are working on, also in R&D. As you can see, you've several floors to traverse. So I hope you're prepared for an adventure. That's what we're counting on. Now, I had Ularu create a program that you need to run on both Lucas and Faye's computers. I'll let her explain the details. You see, once we expose Infinity LTD, all of their data is going to come under intense scrutiny. We only want the public to know about their mercenary hires and unauthorized human trials. But Project Dominion needs to remain confidential. I've created an overseer program that will gather all the evidence we need, and at the same time delete anything relating to Ryujin and the internal Neuroamp. Exactly. And what the public doesn't know, doesn't hurt them. Huh. So much for freedom of the press. Or accountability. If the media were to draw their own conclusions, I'm certain they'd just create a panic among people. Controlling the narrative is of the utmost importance. I don't know. Maybe some goddamn panic is warranted. No, we don't want a mess on this one. A body count will only distract from what we're trying to accomplish here. In fact, unless they're a master at being one with the shadows, I'd suggest you leave your friend behind. Lower the risk. Simon Rychek provided some useful info on how to evacuate civilians from the building. I'm sure you remember him from Sidonia. Infinity's maintenance crew is understaffed. It's only a matter of time before pressure gauges go unchecked and they have a massive issue on their hands. Once that pressure becomes too much, every floor in the building is going to suffer from gas leaks, setting off an automated alarm to evacuate the building. Simon was able to get a passcode for you to access their system's computer, so you can force the heating system to fail. I'd highly advise you use it. This assignment isn't the time to test your abilities. The only thing you're out there to prove is that you can get this job done. So this is the also hardest. Issuing you an operative oh, finally suit. getting the operative suit. It should help reduce their ability to detect you. This is the, the hardest of the stealth quests that I've done. And like I said, I've never been able to complete it successfully. To reduce as much risk as possible. I ended up just having to run and gun it. And that's what we're hoping for. If you can pull this off, even I'll be impressed. Once you've run the Overseer program and obtained the prototype, your final step is to deliver the slate to David Barron at the SSNN field office. If he asks questions, feel free to give him just enough information to pique his interest, but no mention of Ryujin or who you are. SSNN is used to anonymous tips. They'll do whatever verifications they deem necessary on their own to confirm the story. It certainly will, and we'll have front row seats. So, any final questions before you go? Good luck, and be sure to report directly back to me when you return. All right. Here's Simon's passcode, your operative suit, the overseer program, and your cover identity. Your cover ID card is encoded with roof entry and elevator access. So that's your ticket in, either way. Don't screw this up, Skylar Lumen. All right, we'll go to our apparel. We're going to put our operative helmet and suit on. The suit makes us 25% harder to detect, which is really nice. I don't think the helmet does anything. It just looks cool. Uh, how do we get out of here? Don't wander into any restricted area. So who do we got to talk to? Dalton. He's downstairs and or over here on the left. Don't cause any trouble. Do you have the program? With pleasure. So, let's take a look. <coughs> Ha. The 
inscriptions hit a snag. There's definitely something here. This is exactly what we needed. According to this code, Ularu intended to plant false evidence that would show Masako was working with Lucas. The moment you launched the Overseer program, a series of fabricated communication files would have been uploaded to the Infinity LTD network. One of them even frames Masako for encouraging Lucas to push for early human trials. I'm going to copy the necessary files off this slate and issue you a new one. I want to keep this one intact, so Alaru can't dispute it. All right. Now, we finally have the evidence we need to prove Olaru's guilt. Finally. Taking her down might be the only good that comes out of all of this. Yes. And had you not brought this program to me in the first place, you would have been the one planting the false evidence. Without that falsified evidence, Olaru is in for a big surprise. I fully expect she'll be eagerly awaiting SSNN's broadcast, anticipating Masako to be accused alongside Lucas Drexler. Here's the new slate with the revised Overseer program. Let's get this assignment finished the right way. Alright, so we got the uh, new program loaded on the slate. We gotta go to New Atlantis. We here for the lodge? I don't really know what we're doing here. I guess the Infinity LTT quarters is here on New Atlantis. I'll tell you what we're not gonna do though. I can't even dismiss this guy because he's on a uh, quest. We gotta get to that vault in Galbank. That. Uh, like when I try to tell him that I don't want to have him anymore. As soon as we finish the yeah, mission, I just says I can't until I do the empty nest. But not until then. So, you're just gonna stand so right here. Whatever you say. I'll... So I learned the hard way. You do not want them around on stealth missions. or we can check in at the front desk. We're going to try to check in at the front. Oops. See where we can get in this way. I'm going to do a quick save. It's been about an hour and a half now. I guess we'll uh, call this one here. I'll pick back up and we'll knock this uh, last uh, part of the Reunion quest line out uh, tomorrow. And uh, thanks for watching the video.